In the previous tutorials, I've looked at creating a radio advertisement using GarageBand. In this very short clip, we're going to look at how to export the, video, the audio recording. So I've opened up GarageBand and I'm hopefully at the project screen and I can see my project there, Podcast Services. If I was actually to open the project, to export, I need to be back where I previously was. So if your project's already open, press My Songs. So you're back at the project screen. Now I'm going to choose Select in the top right hand corner. And I'm going to select my one project. And I'm going to press the square with the up arrow in the top left hand corner. Incidentally, the other option that's worth noting there is, is the bin, where I can actually delete the project if I don't want it any longer. But I'm exporting right now, so I'm going to go back to the square with the up arrow. Now the top option there is for me to airdrop. So I could actually airdrop the project to somebody else with an Apple device, such as a MacBook or an iMac or another iPad, meaning that they can open and listen to the project. We can import the song into another app, such as Explain Everything or Book Creator. We can use the music in iMovie, if we've got the iMovie app on the iPads. We could export it directly to something like SoundCloud, which is for storing audio files, or YouTube. Um, most, I say most, a lot of people who use iPads use some kind of storage medium such as Google Drive or Dropbox, or in this case, OneDrive to store files in the cloud. So I'm going to choose the OneDrive option to export my piece of music. Artist is me, the composer is me. Um, the album is Paul's Al Adam's album, I'll leave it as that for now. Um, th I've then got some choices about the quality of which I export it. Um, I'm just going to leave it as medium quality, it's fine for now. And then I'm going to choose share. And I'm hoping now that once it's finished processing, it's going to present me with the OneDrive app. And here I can actually type what the audio file is called. Paul's car services 2 will be fine. I'm going to choose down at the bottom, Upload to OneDrive. And I'm just going to save it in the Student Work folder. And then select this location. And it should then have saved that file to Student Work. There we go, Paul's Cost Services. And I could access this from another Mac or another iPad or a Windows PC. Or I could save it from the other PC to a memory stick to, to take the file wherever I want. If I wanted to, I could edit it in Audacity or play it as part of background music for a PowerPoint show. Um, there's so much you can do with it.